All right, today, just a really quick video to talk about a very cool API. This is the RoboHash API. So this website lets you generate images for robots, monsters, kittens, robot heads. So there's different types, different groups of images that you can create, and even people like this. Now, the cool thing about this, it's not just a collection of images and you pick the one that you want. These images are actually generated from a hash value. So you provide the text that you want to use, a hash value is generated from that value, and then that becomes the image attached to that hash value. So each of these is tied directly to a value. So in my HTML, what I've got here, so this name, this name, this name, this name, this name, those unique strings will always be connected if I'm using this same set, so set one, set two, set three, set four, set five, with that set, that name will always give me the same image. So we can be generating data or having data that's connected to a user, whether we're doing sort of an automatic uh, data generation or an actual website where you've got actual users who are providing their email addresses. Those are unique strings. So if you took somebody's email address, Let's say we go into here and we say steve at work.org. That is my email address, or that's an email address. And if we took this email address, we're adding .png to create a PNG image. But that will always provide us with this specific image. So if I change my set, and I'll explain the sets in just a moment. There we go. This is the image that I will always get. So it doesn't matter how many times I create this one image, if I'm using the same text every single time, I'm going to get the same image every single time because the hash value or the string that we're passing in to create the hash remains the same. So the sets. If you add into the query string for the image set equals and then set one, two, three, four, five, you're going to get robots, monsters, robot heads, kittens, or humans. So in here, I'm using set one for a whole bunch of these. Let's roll back so I just have the five. And we'll change all of these to set one. So instead of set two, we'll say set one, set one, set one, set one. There we go. So those, for the values that I have inside there, those are going to always be the robots. And I said set one, so it's always robots. If we change all of them to set two or set four, let's say, let's get the kittens. So we've got robots, we've got heads, we've got kittens, we've got humans, monsters. Set four is the kittens. So I have generated kitten images for this. So it's a great way to create these images. Now, if you want size, you can include that in the query string as well. If you want to change the format, if you need JPEG or PNG or GIF, you can put that in there. By default, PNG is what you're going to get. So if I leave off the PNG, let's take a look. So it's this blue kitten with the bell. So I save it, I come back, it's the same one. Even though I took the .png off there, that's the default. But we can change it between PNG, JPEG, GIF, same image, just different image format. Backgrounds, if you want to add backgrounds to this, we can come in here and say in the query string, so ampersand BG set equals BG1 or BG2. There we go. So there is a background created for that one. Let's do BG2 on the second one here. BG set equals BG2. And there we have a different background image being used for that image. So lots of options here. And one last one, if you want, you don't have to necessarily use query string for all the different values. You can use it as part of the path. So if I change this one, instead of .jpg and then all of this stuff, what I'm going to do, so we've got set for BG1, so you say set underscore set four slash bg set equals bg one slash there's the unique string 
and I'll leave my size on here. There we go. So set for BG1, this value. Now with the parameters being used for this, this is always going to be the value that I get for that. So you have your options, query string or making it part of the path. And then you get your image. Oh, actually, I didn't get the background. Uh, oh, yeah, I put equal sign here. If it's part of the path, you need to use underscore. There we go. So there's my underscore. And this combination of parameters. So this string and using this path makes that a unique combination that's separate from the ones used in the query string. But it's a great simple way that you can generate robots, monsters, kittens, and people. So that's it. Have fun with that. And thanks very much to RoboHash. And if you want to send him a thanks, you want to ask him questions, <laughs> he's got his email address on there. You can ask him about this. All right. As always, thanks for watching.